Hello. Um, on behalf of my dear wife Florence and my family, we wish all the Victory Bible Church family members, both locally and abroad, a wonderful 2022. Every year I come to the family to bring to you a theme after much prayer, a theme around which we are going to build the teaching for the rest of the year. It is now that opportunity that I want to take right now to introduce to you and to present to the Victory Bible Church family our 2022 theme. But before I get there, I would like to get into the Word of God in order to add meat to the thought that we're going to deal with for the rest of this year. I would like to go to the Word of God and turn to the book of Genesis, the very first chapter of the Bible as we start this brand new year. The Bible says in Genesis chapter number 1 and verse number 2b to 3, I'm going to base my discussion with you and this actually plays as the anchor for the theme for 2022. Genesis chapter number 1 verse 2b and 3, very unique in the manner in which we're going to use this verse as we move forward. The Bible says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. That is uh, verse number two. Verse number three, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. This year, Victory Ministries is moving into another sphere of operation after so many years of running in this country. This verse reveals something extremely significant. Number one, we notice that the Bible makes it very clear that once upon a time, there was an atmosphere of nothingness without form and void. And what is interesting is found in verse 2b. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the deep. In other words, the darkness covered what was there. If there was somebody standing by the side of God at that time, he could have noticed that there was nothing except darkness. He would not have known that beyond the darkness, there is a whole big mass of water. But the Bible goes further when God realizes out of this mess, he has to create order in order to prepare for the creation of man. What is obvious now is that God could not work with disorganization, confusion, darkness, and a shapeless world. God knew that before he brought man, he had to create a system a cosmos so that when man comes he's going to be walking along a system created by God in that way he's going to become effective in that way his labors are going to be noticed in that way his activities are going to conform to a certain system that God has created you can imagine if man was created when there was still that confusion and darkness upon the face of the waters but before I proceed I want to talk about something extremely interesting and that is basically the Spirit of the Lord being on top of the deep and it was dark and nobody could see. In the same way that if you had been standing next to God, you would not have known there was water under that darkness. It is the same thing when you are gifted as an individual. You're gifted as a ministry like Victory Ministries, doing many things for God and great moves that have been done by your organization and our organization. As long as there is no order that removes that darkness and the way God did it was simply by saying, let there be light. When he said that there be light, he started to create a system and order made visible the presence of a mass of water. It had always been there, but because there was darkness, we would not have known. So God had to start to separate the heavens from the landmass so that he creates the firmament. And God had to ensure that he separates darkness from light. And God had to separate water from land so that he creates a system within which a man can live. I thought it was important. Our theme 
for 2022, therefore, is that this is the year of divine order. God is calling Victory Ministries and Victory Bible Churches to what we are calling divine order. Because within, within that divine order, we are going to see great um, establishment. We are going to see progress. We are going to see growth. Because people are attracted to systems. If you want your church to attract membership, there must be a system and order. Because people add themselves where there's order. If you want to see financial prosperity in our ministry, there has to be order first because people want to give their money where there is a system of order. And I'm going to give you a little history about Victory Ministries because it is important for you to know that. Victory Ministries in this country is about the first ministry which uh, a parachurch ministry that brought administration to a Pentecostal movement uh, in that regard. What do I mean? Victory Ministries not only do we have crusades and planted churches, we decided to open an office. Out of that office, we administrated the work of God. We had accountants. We had the 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 the, the, the department that dealt with you know uh, the workers and the staff and the you know people that were taking care of different aspects of the ministry administratively. I had two very well qualified secretaries myself. One of them was an American, another one was one of the very well-trained secretary from the mining industry who used to uh, be a, um, a secretary for a managing director in the mines. So we got the very best to become administrators of Victory Ministries. Now, people believe that the growth of Victory Ministries was basically because of the anointing in our preaching and, and in our crusades and being on television and being with the international conference. I think that's part of it, but it's not all of it. The growth of Victory Ministries is because we decided to administrate this anointing, to add order, a system. And when people looked at us, they realized that there is a working system that we can be part of. For example, every, every month I wrote a letter to all our our sponsors that we used to have you know ordinary partners of victory ministries we had silver partners and gold partners and these are people that gave money consistently to victory ministries some of them gave very little you know five kwacha ten kwacha some of them 20 kwacha very unusual to have some people who were giving 100 kwacha per month during that time but each one of them, whether they gave five kwacha, ten kwacha, at the end of each month, as senior pastor and leader of Victory Ministries, I wrote a letter to thank them and let them know how much they had given and thank them for their commitment. Because of that, the financial base of our ministry grew tremendously. We received money not only from our church people, but we also received money from people who belong to other church denominations because they saw order in our administration. So this year, we are going to re-emphasize systems and order. So I thought that it was important for, understand, for us to understand what are we seeking to bring in this year. We are seeking to bring, number one, what we are calling administrative and legal order. Every church across the country, we are going to have a firm administration. We are going to look for a, a lawyer that can do pro bono work for us, but in case we don't have one in the church or somebody who understands accounts and, and legal matters to guide the church in how to make sure that administrative work is done, every registration is made, the registrar of societies has, has, you know, is satisfied, and we are legally in this country. All the legal paperwork must be in place in order for us to be a force in this country. Secondly, we are going to look at financial order. Financial order means that we are going to have a system in which we are managing our resources. Anybody who gives money to us, we are going to take note and make sure that it's well recorded, taken to the bank and receipted in the manner that it should be. So that financial integrity becomes one of our weapons of growth because people want to give to an administration or an institution that is credible and accountable. Thirdly, we are going to bring order to leadership, training, systematic training of our leaders. And each church is going to have a system, pastor, senior, senior pastor, associate pastor, youth pastor, women's pastor, music pastor, so that everybody knows their role in order for us to function in a manner 
that will bring honor and glory to God. The fourth area of order is doctrinal order. We want to make sure that what we are preaching across the board, not only within our country, but our churches that are outside this country, uh, that we have uh, as Victory Bible churches uh, you know, globally. We want us to understand that we have a doctrine that we follow. The doctrine in which we believe in the power of God, the power of the Word of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. These are tenets that must be taught consistently to all of us. Now, why is this important that we work on order? It is extremely important because I'll give you a short example. When I went to Bible College in Dallas, Texas to prepare myself for ministry, I was in a service in Bible school. We had a guest speaker that had just come back from Russia where he was preaching on a mission trip. And there in Russia, he cast out three demons. Yes, three demons. And to, in that meeting, he was now testifying on how God worked through him miraculously to cast out three demons. And he went further to say his ministry has now changed and he's working on a book on deliverance, how to cast out demons. Yes, three demons. And he was ready to write a, a book. He has an office. He already had an office, vehicles in that ministry. He was not as anointed as you'd like to know, but he could administrate his little achievements of casting out demons. Remember, I just come from Zambia, from a youth camp, where as I preached, hundreds of demon cases manifested around me. I didn't even have a pamphlet that talked about deliverance. I wasn't even thinking of writing a pamphlet on how uh, demons are cast out. Because in Africa, we don't, we don't administrate the anointing. In other words, we do not uh, make sure that we add shape to what we are doing. We do not want to preserve those things for future generations. Uh, we move from one place to the other place, leave the anointing there, leave the anointing there. We are building nothing. When you look back, there's no legacy. It's not just the anointing that makes your work to stand. It's how organized you are. And that's why the theme for this year is extremely significant. The year of divine order. So I call upon all pastors every month we are going to speak to this thing. We are not going to go off until we satisfactorily finish the debate on divine order and let's teach our people on how to get that done. So this is a year of putting systems in our local churches, systems of accountability and systems of operation. We shall do this and I need to put this as the last statement. While we organize ourselves, we are going to continue to place emphasis on the work of the Holy Spirit. Victory Ministries has come this far, not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. I don't care how much of a good preacher you are. I don't care how much of an administrator you are. I don't care how much of a dresser you are as pastor. If the presence of the Spirit of God is not there, there's nothing there for God's people. Therefore, in our effort to organize ourselves, we should never compromise the place and the role of the Holy Spirit because He alone builds the church. He alone breaks the yokes of bondage. He alone di differentiates between a church of God and the club that just runs on rules and regulations. A lot of these churches, I won't mention the names, now they are called traditional churches. You may be surprised to know that some of these traditional churches started in power and in the Holy Ghost, but they are ending with big building structures, build big systems, but no power. Go to Europe, you're going to find some of the biggest cathedrals they are now becoming armories where they're keeping weapons because there are no people in those beautiful cathedrals. So organization alone without the Holy Spirit reduces what I'm discussing to nothing but just a club on the side. And Victory Ministries shall never be a club. It shall always propagate the Spirit of God because Zambia shall be saved is dependent on how the Spirit of God moves across this nation. Let there be light on this nation. Let there be light on the activities of Victory Ministries in 2022. 
our new theme, the year of divine order. May God bless you and shalom.